at 178 hours on this kilowatt meter that's hooked to my QNAP. 178 hours. We've got only 4.13 kilowatt hours, as you can see. Okay, this is Nick from Midwest Off Grid. It's a quick update video. Um, I've got a kilowatt meter here. And I'm trying to see how much power consumption this guy's going to use over time. So I'm trying this out, trying to see how much power this guy's going to take. I just booted this guy up. Um, if you're familiar with a kilowatt meter, it'll show you kilowatt hours over time. So I'm going to let this guy run for about maybe a full day. I'll do some um, Apple Mac time machine backups. See how much power consumption this guy is going to use, even on that, while it's doing, you know, one or two laptop backups. So, I just want to see how much consumption it's using. Looks like right now, just on boot up of the device, it's about 36 watts. It's not too bad. I was originally thinking um, the spec actually says 90 watts, but it's not doing much on a hard drive utilization right now on startup so either way um i'll do a, another update video in about 24 hours and we'll see how much power consumption or kilowatt hours it's going to consume over the course of one day all right right now it's showing 122 volts 34 amps, 34 watts, and a hertz, 60 hertz. Not too important. And the kilowatt hours, which is zero. This thing's at about two days running, and we've got 11 watts of power. It's actually not actually running right now. Just got back from work and it's not really running doesn't sound like the drives are spinning and we've got 11 watts of power actually consumed just sitting here and 0.18 amps 0.9 and roughly about 122 volts so it's looking pretty good and 60 Hertz of course And we got about 0.78 kilowatt hours. So, looks like it's not using much power. Uh, I will, uh, my next follow up will probably show um, the actual power consumption actually, you know, doing a time machine backup with it. Naturally, you'll, you'll hear the drive spinning a little bit more. And I basically want to check to see what the wattage would be on that guy. And this one's 0.78 kilowatts. So I would imagine that's going to go a lot longer. Okay. Quick update at 178 hours on this kilowatt meter that's hooked to my QNAP. 178 hours we've got only 4.13 kilowatt hours as you can see hopefully you can see that okay um, one thing I did purchase was a security camera this guy's not being used too much other than time machine backups but um, I want to try and do another test at some point really soon once I get the cameras I'll do a video of that it's a voice over IP, it's not sorry, it's a IP based camera and all the traffic from the camera comes from IP and directly wired to my router or my routers. I actually get another router that's um, technically, I think it's called PPOE, power over ethernet, which the cameras are basically powered by ethernet so it's just one line. So. Um, yeah, so looks like we got about 4.13 kilowatt hours. 
at 178 hours it's been running and right now it's actually running it running pretty high 30 watts not sure why i hear some of the hard drives spinning up um might be because i have a hard um, a laptop running and it's connected over network sharing or it's actually doing a time machine backup it's pretty quiet though right now so not sure why it's running 30 watts typically when it's just running idle it's about seven or nine i believe 121 volts 0.28 amps i'm going to try and find a, another kilowatt meter that's kind of based on bluetooth possibly an app um i wouldn't mind actually getting something like that but Probably about 50 or 60 bucks. Don't quite have that right now. Okay, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe or like or comment below. G give me your thoughts on this guy, the kilowatt meter, or even give me your thoughts on the QNAP NAS drive. This thing's awesome. I love this thing. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Got another video coming up.